Bolsa Grande Matador baseball team suffered a major setback. Early in their season, this wasn't the loss of a big game or a player due to injuries. This was the loss of a different kind. Reporter Gaston Castellanos has the story. Things are not quite the same on the baseball diamond at Bolsa Grande High School. Bolsa held open house on March 10th, but later that night, thieves broke into storage sheds at the school and cleaned them out. We were able to get under here and cut the lock. Athletic director Stephen Hauer says some school property was stolen, but that's not the worst of it. The major loss was what the kids lost. Uh, when they broke in, they uh, went through all the kids' bat bags and took out all their gloves, all their bats, uh, I think some helmets. Kyle Strobin plays first base and pitches for the Matadors. He says most of his gear is gone. My glove, my bat, my helmet, my sunglasses, everything I needed except my cleats, they took those out and set them there. On Monday, some of the Matadors were using loaned equipment, but they had to cancel a preseason game with Saddleback Valley Christian, and they missed some practices while they scraped up replacement gear. The most difficult thing is, is that there are some of these kids who, you know, they're not going to be able to go out and buy a new bat. They're not going to be able to go out and buy a glove comparable to the one that they lost. Suzanne Neal's son, Stewart is on the JV team. She says he kept some gear at home, but others are not so fortunate. The kids who lost all of their equipment, you, you, you want to cry for these kids. You, there's, you, you can't explain it. I mean, it's like someone just punched you in the gut. These four players were unable to participate in the day's practice because of the lack of equipment. Many teams would like to lead the league in stolen bases. In this case, the bases were about the only things the thieves left behind. Still, these guys aren't going to let this get them down. It's disappointing to not have our gear, but we still have our team, and that's the important thing, I guess. This is Gaston Castellanos reporting. The loss is estimated between ten and $12,000. The Booster Club is looking at fundraising possibilities, and the team is accepting donations and equipment and cash. You can contact the school by calling 714-663-6424.